So I've um, completed the front face of the remote. I've drawn in all of the extra graphics. Okay. Now, as I say, the main point of this is this task is to uh, draw a symmetrical shape. Uh, if you have time, depending on what shape you draw and the, the time you've allowed yourself, if you have time, it would be nice if you can do the, the, the side view and the top view, okay? But if you run out of time, the main thing I want you to do is the front face. So I've got this shape. I'm going to show you another example. There was a bit of a clue as to what the next design will be if you were eagle-eyed. Um, I will just say, if you are drawing a top view, remember the same rules apply, okay? This should line up this this top section shouldn't be over here or, or across here remember this should line up and then if we follow this line across that should line up and the same rules apply in terms of symmetry if i'm looking at that remote the curve is equal it's an equal curve so i'm going to do the same here okay i've put a point so what i've done is i've looked at where it should go and i've done a little line there and then I will put a curve to try and match the curve that I've already drawn. Draw it lightly, so if you make a mistake. Okay, something along the lines of that. Of course, that has to be the same. And then, if you look, the buttons protrude out. If you look from the side on there, it's a lot easier to see. So I've drawn that on my side view and on my top view so that up right and down up right and down there you can see these buttons and i've really been careful to make sure that even they line up okay so if you use a ruler you can see they line up like so okay we've got that there we've got that there so these obviously would line up so before drawing anything in orthographic think hang on a minute is it representative of the drawings I've already done. So this one here, I've put a little point in. This one here, have a little point. I'm drawing this really quickly, but you get the idea. And of course, there's another line where the plastic casing connects the two pieces together. That line, not that. Okay, so if you could do that, that would be great. But if you run out of time, the main thing I'm after is a symmetrical shape uh, item. Okay, cut down the middle. If you can do the top and the side, that would be great. So, that's stage one. I'd like you to have a go, some of you, if you feel a bit more adventurous and you want to pick an unusual or tricky shape. I've got this little mini FA Cup football trophy. Okay, I've picked it because it is symmetrical, mainly, that's the main reason. Cut it down in half, or you would use a mirror. Hopefully that picks up on the camera. You can see it's symmetrical. Okay, so this is obviously a lot trickier than this remote, isn't it? A lot trickier. So some of you, if, you, if you're comfortable drawing a shape like this, that's absolutely fine. If you really want to stretch and challenge yourself, I've got something like this. Okay, I should say it's got a top section as well. Now, full disclosure, I have drawn some bits out, again, to save myself a bit of time. And if you only wanna do one angle, the front, that's absolutely fine. If you wanna have a go at doing front, side, and top, the top will look something like that, you can, okay? So, my biggest tip for drawing symmetrical shapes is to, first of all, plan out your shape. So I've drawn a grid. Now this box here represents this part of the FA Cup. I've got a line there, and that line, if we follow it along, because I've already had a, a go, that is where this section ends. And then if you like the base, this base section, that's where that would go. Okay, These, this section here and this section here would be the handles. So I've, I've measured roughly, and I've tried to do this two scale. Okay, you look, that's more or less two scale. Um, I've, I've measured out roughly each section. I've also got lines here for the top part of the trophy. This annoyingly keeps falling off, but. Um, so I've, I've got some lines here as well. So 
I'm going to place my trophy there so I can see it. So when I'm drawing, I'm going to be looking at this angle. And I'm going to have a go. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, because this is, this is how I draw symmetrical shapes, and I find it useful. I draw one side, first of all, try and make it as accurate as I can, and then I try and replicate it on this side. I've obviously done it once, so I'm going to give it another go. So, I know. What do I know? Well, I know in, within this box, this area, this item here, we need to include that curve. Okay, And I should also say, that whenever you twist this around, it will look exactly the same. Take the handle, if it had no handles, it would look identical all the way around, wouldn't it? It's just the handles that make it different. So um, I'm gonna place that there. So I know that there's a, there's a curvature and then it comes back in again. So I've measured, and you may already see, but I've put a point there. So I'm gonna draw this out. And I know that curve has to get to that point. Okay, because I, I actually measured it. Then I know it has to come back again. So I've done another point there. So I know that has to come back like so. And finally, I know that this trophy then tapers in before it gets to the, the bottom section, the base. So I've done another point there just to help myself out. Like that. So if I've done that, I can do the same again, can't I? So you can measure, okay, that's five, from my grid, that's five millimetres, so I can do that. I know it's five millimetres, so I can put a point, and then I can match up that symmetrical curve. Now, I probably will make the odds mistake, okay? I'm gonna try and do this without rubbing out, because otherwise the video will be hours long, so I'm going to try and just draw it as best I can. If I make an odd mistake, I'm just going to go with it. Try your best. So, this curve here, I've measured, and I know that that point there and that point there, I've put two dots. So I've got to match that curvature here and here. So again, looking at my trophy that's in front of me, I know it has got a slight curve at the bottom. It's going to go like that. So therefore on this side, it will be the same. Remember, if it's not symmetrical, that's what breaks your brain when you look at a shape. Okay, so we'll try as best we can, like so. So I'm going to draw my line like this. I'm just going to check what does that look like on the camera. Yeah, that looks okay. So, I won't tackle the handles yet. I'm going to tackle the top section, this section here. Okay, so... I might just put a line there because I know it's a separate item. So... I can't really lay it down sideways for you guys to see because it will... So, but I'll, I'll keep putting it like that. If I do that, it will just keep rolling over. But you can see, and as I say, I've drawn this out so you can have that as your guide. So I know. That goes to there. So I'm trying to keep it the same at all times. That goes to there. like that. This bit is quite tricky because the angles are really tight. Not sure I've done that 100% but for the sake of getting this video done with it not lasting too long I will carry on. So I'm going to draw the top section now. It is something like that. I haven't got that 100% right, but. Again, I'm looking, I'm doing this. If you, feel, if you um, don't feel comfortable doing it by eye, you can keep measuring. I'm gonna try and 
do it by eye as best I can. But I'm always checking. I'm always, as I'm drawing this, I'm always looking over here. Um, is it lining up? Let's just go over that again. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, that looks okay to me. So the handles, so I've got, I can probably put that on that side like that. How does that come out on the camera? Not too bad. So what do I know? Well, I know these handles, I put two points where they go up. So I'm gonna do, I might for this, just try and draw one handle. And then I'll try and replicate it afterwards. So I know that curve touches this edge. So this part here is the furthest away. So it should be touching this line here. Yeah, that looks good. I also know this part here, I'm gonna put a little mark, so it's around about there. So if I put that, if I put that circle in. If you're struggling on one part up here and you can't work it out, Go down to another part, it's almost like a puzzle and then you can connect the dots afterwards, okay? Um, so let's go with this. And that circle and that circle is the same size. So I've just done that there, so I want to try and make sure this one is the same. That and that, that looks about the same to me. And then look at the thickness of the handles. Again, they're the same on both sides. So I'm quite happy with that so far. So I'm gonna follow this line around. I'm gonna ignore that part for the time being and I'm just gonna try and do a, a curve. So I'm gonna draw this lightly because that curve needs to finish off here. So that means I'm connecting that to that. Yeah, and I know this line is parallel with it. So that means I'll do a second one now. Again, I can add those other embellishments in afterwards. Okay, let's add those in. So round about here, like that. And something like that. That looks okay. I always nitpick my drawings. I can always see errors. I'm never entirely satisfied with anything I draw, but for the purposes of this quick video, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna try and replicate. So I know that point is the same there because I've already plotted it out. I know if I follow this along, make a point there. I need to, this is the part where the, the curves, as I say, the hardest things to do with symmetry. You can see what I'm doing. I'm always trying to plot my lines and how big that is. Obviously it needs to be exact same side. Don't, it shouldn't be bigger or smaller. like that. So now I've got to plot this line. So I'm doing it a little bit different on this side because I've got this information to work with. That probably needs to be a little bit lower. So I know this, this now has to, be, remember the thickness, this has to be symmetrical, this line with this line. The thickness must be the same. I don't want one thicker handle than the other. Again, I'm not worrying about these for now. That should be in the same place, this point where they join. Yeah, that looks good. This circle here needs to be the same height. I don't want this down here or up here. So I'll measure that, go across, do a little point. 
needs to be the same size. Okay, now I know this needs to be symmetrical. Does it? And actually, look, if you see that line, I don't know how well you can see that line, you see that gap there, it's about two millimeters. I want that to be the same, don't I? So. It always corresponds with something else on your drawing, okay? So you're not just drawing without thinking about does it match up? I'm almost more into, once I've drawn one half, I could put that away, I don't need it. I'm more interested in lining these up. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over that again. Because I don't know how well you can see it on camera. Now, I'm not expecting people to have mini FA cups in their house. <laughs> Very unlikely, but you may have a little football trophy or something similar. You may have, uh, what is quite good is a flower vase. They have, um, often have handles on the side or they have a nice symmetri symmetrical shape. If you know your football trophies, the Europa League trophy looks a lot like a big flower vase. So you can kind of have that in mind if you want to draw that out. Um, egg cups, sometimes an egg cup is quite good. Whatever it is you have. Main thing, it has to be symmetrical. And that dotted line will help you out, okay? That's pretty much it. Now again, I'm gonna draw the top and the side. If I'm drawing the side, let's see if I can line this up on the camera. If I'm drawing the side, really, if I draw this really quickly, the handle, all you're going to see is pretty much this. It's going to be straight lines that line up like this. So, like so. And of course that handle is higher, so it goes up to there, like so. If I'm drawing that really, I'm going to draw this quickly without a ruler. Handle pretty much looks like that. I know it lines up. And then you've got these elements. So you might want to say, okay, well, there's the first part. There's that part. Let's do that part first. And then that part there. Do a circle there. And then, of course, there would be another line there. Okay, I'm not, I can do this quickly, but you get the idea. That part, that part, that part. They should line up with the points. And then I would draw this side exactly the same. So that, that side's relatively easy. The front is the hardest. The top, we look, and I'll put it here. Let's actually get it right underneath the camera so it lines up. It is a collection of circles, isn't it? So you would draw a wider circle, which would be the base. You would then do this circle here. So I'm not gonna draw it. Um, if you have a compass, and you want to do that rather than uh, draw your circles out how we normally do, you can. But you'd have a wider base, then you'd have another circle, then you'd have another smaller circle again for the lid. And then of course these circles, you'd all see. So that's gonna look like a big bunch of circles with two handles sticking out. So if I was drawing this, I'd do it very quickly and this will not look as it should, and it has horrible hairy lines that I don't want you to be doing. But it'd be like that. You'd have another one on the inside, another one here, and you'd have a wider one, the base. You'd line that up. Okay, that's about there. You'd line that one up. That's about there. So you'd have your base like so. 
Hopefully you can see that in the camera. You can see that the black outer circle. It's hard to get it exact, but that'd be around the edge. And of course then you have your two handles. Now your handles, you know the length of the handles and you know the thickness of the handles. That's the thickness. So with that information, you can draw in your hand. This looks atrocious, this drawing, but that's because I'm doing it quickly and freehand. Okay, yours will look a lot better than that. Okay, because I've planned it out. But actually that's, then if I was to rub that out and then get a compass, does that line up? That's probably a bit too high. Ignore this last drawing, <laughs> but you get the idea. Okay, so you'd have your, your top, you'd have your front, you'd have your side. As I say, if you haven't got time, just concentrate on the front, okay? Um, I'm, the thing I'm really looking for is symmetry more than anything else, okay? And I'm looking at this in the camera and actually, it breaks my brain, that is too low, uh, too high. That actually needs to be a little bit lower like that. But I could look at this all day and spot different errors, so you just have to be content that it is close enough. Okay, and then of course, like I did with my other drawing, this one, I then rubbed out all of my grid lines. Okay, I don't have them anymore, I've got one or two up there, but. Um, oh, the other thing I was gonna say is, that on that remote, it had a little curve for a finger slot. Now, if you look, the curve is at the very middle of that OK button. So if I tilt it sideways, I don't know if you can see that, the OK uh, is where the curve is. So another tip, I put a ruler across, I put a little dot, and then I could draw my curve in like so. So that information informed me how to draw this even though it's a completely separate shape, look how I'm using this information to help me with this finger grip. Okay, uh, is there anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Um, give it a go. Um, and yeah, that's it from me. I'm going to, the next thing I'm gonna try and have a look at is uh, rendering in color and using different, um, getting different techniques and how to get different textures on surfaces. So you don't need to colour these in now because that's going to be featured in the next video. Okay, best of luck. I look forward to see your drawings and I'll uh, be back soon.